website was pretty helpful. Um, blind guy beat Milton. How about that? Okay. Um, where is it at? You see, the reason I'm playing this on emulator is I have the bonus disc with the actual game, but someone, I'm not going to name names, but someone uh, left out of its case for probably about two years. Moved around too much. Yeah, Goma, I called it. Okay, Goma appears to be either red or blue. Okay, I have to use a bow. Ugh, that's stupid. Bring enough rupees so that you can miss a few shots and not have to worry. Red Goma. Just one hit from the bow. But, I don't. Uh, see. Okay, now where do I buy arrows at? Oh god, I gotta find a shop now. No, what the hell? I oh, thought I picked the one. Okay, fairy, that helps. But okay, I gotta think where a shop is now, cause I have no clue. Maybe back this way? I don't know. The only thing I bought at the shop in this game is... I, I think I bought bombs once because I couldn't get enemy to drop any and I needed to get the uh, heart containers. Which, as you can tell, I already have. Not that they've helped me at all. Not like it's my fault. That's stupid that Goma can only be hurt by Arrow. That That is dumb. It's bad game design if you're supposed to have... Like, what if you ran out of arrows? I mean, then you just couldn't beat the boss? I mean, every boss I can think of where you have to use a projectile weapon, you can always at least... You can always at least do a uh, alternate form of damage. You don't have to have arrows or projectiles, what have you. Or, if you do, then there's a way to get them. There's a way to get ammo. Like, like in the later Zeldas, there's like a pot. There's pots or something, and you break them open and get hearts. But, no, this was the soul-crushing days of NES gaming, where everything had to be really hard, because you wouldn't get... I mean, there were no used games then, I mean, if you think about it. I mean, you couldn't... I mean, not really... That would be like, right when DVDs came out. Like, if you went to a garage sale or something, you wouldn't find DVDs, really. I mean, I don't know. That's the analogy I would draw. It was too new for there to be a used market. So when you bought a game, you were making a hefty investment. And <laughs> back then, I mean, I mean, look at, I mean, Zelda, for its time, is a long game, but compared to, like, even other NES games like Final Fantasy, but like any Final Fantasy today, it's it's not as long. The only reason it's taken me this long is because I'm terrible at it. And that's what they had to do. They just made them really hard. So that you wouldn't beat it really quickly. I mean, that was a, it was a $50 investment. But then, I mean, you could argue you got the issues these days of people, or not people, but companies artificially lengthening games. And, as someone who likes to 100% games, you know, at least that makes it a bit easier. No! One room <laughs> short again! Oh my god. Hate my life. Drop a rupee, please, before I die. That's a heart that will help. Oh my god. No. Oh. No! I need rupees. I need rope, lamp, oil, and bombs. <laughs> don't have enough rupees. I guess he doesn't take credit. No! No, no. Ah! Oh. This is the only time I'm gonna complain about getting hearts. I'll say that right here. Just because I need money. And then, uh, of course, I'm not gonna have enough to buy the potion. Oh boy, I always get the stopwatch on the last enemy, it's stupid. Wish you could collect them and like use them whenever you want and that would be helpful. I mean, just make them rare and then you just do that. Yes! Repeats. Oh, I gotta go around, don't I? <sighs> Such an annoying sound. 
sounds like someone just spilling a whole bag of sand or something. Yup, made a mess. It's supposed to be a wave, but... I haven't been to the ocean. The ocean's not so 8-bit. Well, at least I don't remember it being 8-bit. I don't actually know how many... If there's a certain amount of screens away that the enemies respawn or not. I don't think it would be a length of time. I don't think the cartridge... I don't think they could have coded that, but... I don't know. Alright, buy something, will ya? Yeah, I will. Buy arrows. No, okay, so since this is obviously the first time I'm buying arrows in the game, the way they work is, yeah, so I thought they cost one rupee. So, okay, not only do I have to get back up to 60-some rupees, to uh, buy the red potion. I also have to make sure I have enough rupees because if I run out of arrows, I mean, I have one shot, but knowing me, I will miss that shot. And it'll be pretty sad. Alright, damn it. I think he takes two hits with this. Can't even get to him with the sword. He's hiding over there like a pussy. And we'll get back to this screen. If I, I, I don't want to risk one of the money, uh, one of the gambling games, but if I have to, I will. I have to have at least ten for that, and if I screw up... I could try bombing to find a hidden place, but knowing me, I'd get a door repair one, and God knows I don't want that. I'll have even less money then. I always thought that was clever, though, the idea of you, you blow up someone's house and, I mean, like, their door. I mean, okay, well, one, they, they're literally living in a cave, so. But the idea that, that you have to pay to fix their door. I thought that concept should have been used in later Zelda games. That would have been pretty funny. Okay. I'm gonna risk it. <sighs> left, right, now. I'm gonna go left. No! Oh, damn it. Oh, now I gotta get more money. I hate this. I could try going in the dungeon, now that I have arrows, but I can't net that going well for me. Then again, I mean, it is only one shot with an arrow, so... If I can make it there alive... Alright, I'll get the fair in him. Damn it. I'm gonna try this without the potion. I'll just, whatever rupees I get along the way, that's how many shots I'll have. Yeah, you heard me. We're going hardcore now. Hardcore Zelda. Getting my action pose, apparently. Fight some uh, Goma. I would like a 3D remake of this one, or at least similar, because I know you got, I mean, they bring Ganon back, obviously, I mean, he's an enemy, and, oh, well, whoops, I forgot, <laughs> forgot him in the Lost Woods. I mean, he obviously comes back as an enemy, and Goma does, and, uh, I know in Ocarina of Time, I can't remember if the bug in Wind Waker is called Goma or not, I'm not 100% sure. But, like, the dragon from the first dungeon, he's cool, and, like, uh, the spinning circles, like, oh, Dodongo, they bring him back, too, but, yeah, two-headed dragon, and the one-headed dragon, I guess, and the ball thing, they have to play the flute for, I mean, those are cool, they totally could have brought those back. Maybe if they would have spent more time on, if they would have had more time on Wind Waker, and I regret that, because that's a good game, and the, uh, the third temple that got cut. I mean, too much stuff got cut from that game. They could do some really, really, uh, ingenious temples, I think, with that system of gameplay. That's a, that's my favorite Zelda game, with, uh, Majora's Mask coming in at a close second. Oddly enough, though, I 